In this video, we're painting tiny epic shields. Here are our item meeples with swords done. Do you want to see that? I have it linked in the card in the upper right hand corner. We're going to start working on shields. I've already base coated or primed, brush primed, so to speak, with ghost gray. If you want to know what that's all about, check out the other video. So we are going to start this off with some army painter plate mail metal, same silver metallic I used on the swords. And I decided I wasn't sure if I wanted to do metal in the middle, color on the outside or color on the inside, metal on the outside. And I decided I'm just gonna go for it and we're gonna do the major portion here in the front and all of the back with the plate mail metal. We're gonna do this on all four shields. While I'm doing the back here, I'm gonna be careful not to get any on the edges of the shield. Some of the paints I'm gonna use for the colors don't go well over the metal portion. So I wanna keep it kind of clean. Here's what the first shield looks like after one coat. I'm gonna do a second coat of the metal just so that I get some pretty good coverage. And uh, metallic paints often, their transparency is a little on the poorer side. So you usually have to do at least two coats. For the outer portion of the shield, we're gonna use the same colors that we did on the sword details. So enchanted blue for the blue guy, Uriel yellow for the yellow guy. There we go. We're gonna get some wild rider red for my reds. And then again, for the greens, we're going to use scorpion green. I gave these a good shake, watered down a little bit, and I'm gonna unload my brush, and I'm just gonna go around the edges, and then I'm gonna paint within to the recess, and then I'm gonna hit the, uh, the sides of the shield as well. Like I said before, the colors aren't important. These are just the kind of most saturated, vibrant colors that I feel would go well with the meeple. You can use whatever paint brands, whatever colors you want. For the sake of the video, this is actually sped up. Um, I'm going much slower than this when I'm painting and I'm using one of the finest, smallest brushes I have. You just wanna take your time, go slow, and um, if you uh, kind of lean down on the table like I'm doing here, you can get around the edges and into those recessed details without any spillover on the metal. With that being said, I still spill over on the metal a little bit. Um, I am kind of moving through these guys kind of quick because I'm looking for a tabletop quality. Two feet away while you're playing and you're just you're glancing down, does it look good? That's what I'm shooting for. These aren't gonna be winning any awards and I'm not gonna be having them on display. I wanna play with them and I want them to look cool while I'm playing with them. But I also wanna get them done. And after I finish these guys, I got staves. And after I finish staves, I got 12 quest rewards. And after I finish those quest rewards, I have two more tiny epic games with items, and after those two more, at the end of the month, I'm gonna be getting max. So we have quite a bit of uh, tiny epic games and tiny epic items for tiny epic item meeples to get done. I noticed this time with both the red and the green that I'm gonna do next, they went on kinda thin and a little more transparent. So I'm gonna come back later and do a second coat of both the red and the green.
All right, I'm gonna take some colored washes. I'm using sepia for the yellow, but the rest are gonna match up. And I'm gonna do something similar here that I did with the swords yesterday. So I'm gonna take the color that's appropriate to the shield, and I'm gonna carefully paint it into the detailed recess here that's gonna be in between the metal portion and the colored portion. And this is gonna draw a nice line of separation and have good contrast as you're looking at the shield. Of these four paints, I'm using the blue as a bit darker. So with the blue wash, it didn't actually show up quite as much. We're gonna do something about that here a little bit later. When I use the sepia shade on the yellow, you can really see the uh, dark line that is filling in that recess in between the metal and the color. This is more of the effect that I'm going for. Gonna grab this null oil and I'm going to use this to darken down the recess on the blue shield even more. Here's that second coat on both the red shield and the green shield that I mentioned earlier. All right, here's a look at what we got done this morning. I think I wanna spend some more time on these guys and I can push the contrast a little more, make them pop a little bit more. So that's how I hobby today. If you could let me know how you hobby today down in the comments, come back tomorrow, we're gonna to push these guys up a notch.